Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to build a audio reactive line art in Touch Designer. I will talk about some tips for audio analysis, how to turn noise data into 3D lines, and how to add manual controls for extra flexibility. By the end, you will have a setup that reacts to music automatically, and also have some controls you can manually change in real time. Let's start with the final effect preview. Let's break down the network. First with audio analysis. Uh, first add the audio of choice and connect it to audio analysis, which is a preview component in Touch Designer. And then I am subtract the high to drive the visuals. And I run it through the envelope chop and the mass chop to remap the value into a clean zero to one range uh, so that it's easier for you to manipulate to map to your visuals later. And then uh, the tips here is to apply different filter ways to the same audio signal from different parts uh, for different parts of your visual. So for example, if I know that, okay, for the background brightness, I want it to react more quickly, then I apply a small filter width. And then for the size of the circle, for example, I think it looks nicer uh, that it reacts more slowly. Uh, then I will apply a larger photo width to um, to it. And then in the end, I will connect the, the filtered value to a null and name it specifically for the node I will be driving and the parameters inside. So this is a node and this is the parameters I rename in this way. So next time you come to the file, you know exactly this is for. Uh, brings you so much more clarity uh, than not doing this step. For the main visual, essentially we are turning chops into subs and into tops. So chops give us random values and in here I'm using three channels X, Y, Z and I uh, chop the reference of those three channels into add sub. So it will turn our uh, noise data into 3D points. Then the trail connecting those points into a line and then the sweep uh, we connect to a sweep sop uh, to create the 3D lines. For a sweep sop, we have two important inputs. The first is a profile. Uh, in here, I'm using one quarter of the circle. And then also the pass, uh, which is the trail, the line here. So what we essentially do is moving along our profile alongside um, the path we defined. So we will create a 3D geometry of choice. And then after that, I run it through a rendering system where you always have a camera and um, uh, the constant as a texture. In this one, I'm using white color to it. And then I run it through the feedback loop. For the feedback loop, it's very simple. Normally, I would put a level, a transform, uh, what else? Lens distort, those kind of things. And the key here is to do very tiny adjustments to create delicate effects. For the level here, always um, changing the opacity to manipulate the intensity of the visuals. And then the transform here is the scale and the rotation I normally use. And then finally, just the simple uh, composition I connected to a rectangular 
and the outline and also connect it to a video. I place the circle on top of my video and then in the end I also connect it to a level to change the colors a little bit and if you have a editing software or design software you can do it there. Uh, that's that's it, very simple. And uh, maybe I will show you more of I have here. I think in the end I just change a little bit of the audio part. Yeah, I also add a lag to this. Uh, so again, based on your needs, how you want to manipulate the things that try it out different method. I've using 0.2 here and 0.2 here. And this one I'm using 0.4 to, to drive the brightness. Um, okay, the last part, I will show you the manual control part and I will show it in the network because it's more intuitive. Um, so I've been putting out the scale, the twist, the expansion, and the variation out. The scale, as you can see, is the scale of the shape we have. The slider will give you a range from 0 to 1, and then you connect it to a mass and remap that to, in this case, 0 0.5 to 5, but experiment the range you want. I'm using it to drive the scale of the sweep here. And for the twist, um, it's the same. I'm using uh, 0 to 360. It will change the twist of the lines. And then uh, expansion is the one in the level here. So I'm using these to drive the opacity of the level. So if you see I increase it, it will have more, uh, more lines visible, uh, more rungs visible. <laughs> quite intense and the last one is uh, anchor view for the circle so it will have different variation and shapes uh, of the, the circle And then uh, one last tip here is uh, you want to have some audio reactivity to automatically drive the visuals um, using the height to drive the size of the geometry, also the height to drive the background brightness. In general, you would want something that already set it up and also something you can manually control to create a more interactive and live experience. Uh, that's my tip of today. Hope you found it useful. And if you want the same project file, you can download it in my Patreon. And see you next time.